Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sabrina and I am the owner of Sab Stuffies and today I'm going to talk to you about all things Harriet the Hen. So let me show you what I've got going on. So this is my Harriet the Hen DIY kit. Gotta fix it up a little bit first. <laughs> so this is Harriet the Hen. This is my small version. Let me grab the large version. So this is my large Harriet the Hen, and this is the small version of Harriet the Hen. These hens were definitely some of the first stuffies that I made. Um, they're really popular at my markets and well-loved. Chickens seem to be the popular animal in recent years I've come across, especially at markets. I have people coming into my tent saying, oh, so-and-so just got chickens, so they always grab a little chicken for the people who just got their chicks or chickens and I actually grew up with chickens as well growing up we always had chickens so I'm very familiar with chickens <laughs> but we call this one Harriet the hen and this again is the small and this is the large the other one I showed you was done in you can probably hardly tell the difference but this is an ivory and this is in the color vintage for the DIY kit and for the video tutorials, whoops, and for the video tutorials that I did, I did it in the color vintage. So let's talk about the DIY kit. So here is the DIY kit. I will show you the graphic. So this is the sticker that comes with the DIY kit. It says DIY finger knit kit, Harriet the Hen. And then we have what's included. It comes with a Harriet the Hen sticker, video tutorial, and written instructions, yarn and polyfill. This is beginner plus, so still good for beginners, but it might be just a little bit more challenging. Um, and then just all of my information. And here is what's in the box, which I'll show you. Okay, so in the box, of course, comes the yarn. So we have the main color, which of course, again, is in the vintage white. And then it comes in a little baggy sense. There's three little pieces, uh, yellow for the beak, black for the eyes, and red for the comb of the hen. So we just put that in a little baggy so that way it's not all over the box. Of course, we have polyfill to stuff the hen as well. Okay, and then we have the envelope, and I'll show you everything that comes in the envelope for the DIY kit. So first off, I always, pretty much in all of my orders, everyone gets a Sab Stuffies logo with a little B on it. And then of course you're going to get a Harriet the Hen sticker. How cute is this? And then the most important part is the sheet where you have the QR code and direct link to the video tutorial, and then also a QR code and direct link to the written instructions and the picture guides. So again, same graphics on there, same information, and then it just has those QR codes so you can access the tutorial and the written instructions, which I'll show you a little bit of a sneak peek of the written instructions once we get to the topic of the video tutorial itself. So we have my business card, my thank you card, which also has a coupon code, which is hiding behind the business card right there. And then we have the care and safety um, instructions for the hen once you complete it. So all of that goes in an envelope to keep everything nice and secure in the box. So that way it's not going everywhere during shipment. So that is everything that comes, oh, and then also on top of the box goes a piece of tissue paper with again my little logo sticker on there as well, which I don't have shown right here, but yeah, so that's everything that comes in the DIY kit. And then the DIY kit is for this small mini Harriet the Hen, which is definitely my preference over the large one. I love the small stuffies. I think they're just so cute and they tend to be well loved at my markets as well over the large hen. So this is a really great fun activity and learning something new um, or if you've purchased my DIY kits in the past and you wanted to try another one, the hen is a really fun one. Great option. 
um, perfect for gifts as well. As I mentioned earlier, it is beginner plus, so that means that it just might be a little bit more difficult than beginner friendly. Um, mostly beginner plus because it has all of these pieces to add. So you've got the wings, the eyes, the beak, the comb. So there's definitely a lot of pieces to it, but um, definitely a lot of the elements to it are very beginner friendly. So overall, it would be a really great gift for someone who, even if they're learning for the first time, again, might be a little bit more difficult than, you know, the bee or whale DIY kit, but for sure still a fun one. Okay, and then today I launched just the video tutorial for it. Um, well, the video tutorial, but then it also comes with the written instructions and then also the, um, the written instructions and then also picture guides that come with it as well, which is going to be my new standard for video tutorials that I do. So this has definitely the, been the most in-depth video tutorial that I've done because it's not just a video tutorial, but it's also... Um, written instructions, lots of graphics, um, screenshots from the video so you can follow along that way, especially after you've done it once, you've gone through the video tutorial once, and you don't necessarily want to go through the video tutorial again. You have those written instructions and picture guides to go off of instead of watching and going through the whole video tutorial again. So that will be my new standard going forward. Other than the blanket course, like I said before, this has been the most involved process for making that video tutorial. Um, so prices are just a little bit more than my just video tutorial. So the earlier ones that I've done are just video tutorials. So if you're ever wondering if a tutorial comes with the written instructions or um, picture guides, make sure you read the description of all of the listings. It says right on there whether they include written instructions or not. But the good news is that over time, I will be going back and updating my old, older video tutorials to include those um, written instructions and picture guides. So I'm working right now on the ghost since fall is coming up. So I've just almost completed going through. So I'm going to pull up what I'm talking about with the written instructions and the picture guides so you can kind of get a feel of um, what those look like and what you'll be getting um, when you purchase a video tutorial. I will show you real quick the what I've been working on for the ghost um, instruction guide. I think it turned out really good. I'm still waiting for a few things for that. It's still in rough draft form. But yeah, so once, while that's loading, so once you, so if you purchased a video tutorial in the past that does not include that, um, I will make an announcement. I'll send an email. Um, yeah, I'll send an email and then I'll make an announcement on like my Instagram and social media letting um, all of you know that it's now available. And then if you would like those written instructions and picture guides, you can just send me an email and I will send that to you um, for free, of course, if you have purchased that in the past. So let me show you real quick the graphics. Okay, so real quick, this is what I'm working on for the ghost. Um... This is what I'm working on for the ghost. This is going to be small ghost written instructions and picture guide. So here's the, here's kind of what it looks like a little bit. Um, I have just the written instructions here, and then it goes into the picture guides plus with the written instructions in it. And then we also have it for the large ghost as well. And then at the end, we just have like a little thank you note from me. So that is, the ghost and then let me go ahead and show you what the hem looks like okay so here it is same thing again same graphics for the hen everything is very much the same for the hen with all the graphics um, here we go into the small hen written instructions plus picture guides and then same thing for the large hen which is large hen is here and then we have a simple pattern guide plus pictures and then at the end of this one because I had a tester call for this I have all of my amazing testers um, look how good <laughs> their hands turned out I love all the different colors that they use hopefully you can see it well since I'm showing you on the screen but look how adorable their hands are um, love all the different colors that they use they turned out so great 
and they gave me such good advice and different suggestions for the tutorial and the pattern guide to make this um, tutorial and pattern even better for you guys who go and purchase it. And then again, we have my little thank you note and all the information there. Yeah, so that is all of kind of what's been happening the past few weeks. A lot of work has gone into this Harriet the Hen DIY kit and video tutorial. Um, definitely I'm hoping to keep up this new standard that I have to make the tutorial and um, pattern just a lot more simple and easy and something that you guys enjoy even more. Uh, more fun with all the graphics. So, so yeah, that's about it for the video tutorial and the DIY kit. I'm super excited about this one and I hope you guys are too. Uh, up next quickly, I will be working on again the ghost, updating the ghost PDF guide. Um, so I'll hopefully have that ready for you guys sometime soon, especially if you purchased it in the past. Um, so get ready and excited for that to have the pattern guide for yourself. And then I'll also have a DIY kit for the ghost coming soon. I think the DIY kit, I'm still um, measuring out yarn and everything, but I think the DIY kit will include um, three ghosts that you'll be able to make. So possibly two of the mini boo ghosts and one of the larger ghosts. Um, so we'll see. It might be one mini ghost and one large ghost, but you may be able to do three for that DIY kit, which would be awesome. So keep an eye out for that DIY kit drop. Really great gift for the fall time. And then also keep a lookout for an acorn video tutorial and also my Malcolm the Mushroom video tutorial. So I'm working on those two next. So hopefully those will go well and I'm able to get them out sooner rather than later. Thanks so much for joining me on this video as we talked about Harriet the